Today I'll be showing you how I made this Ankara wrap crop top using an Ankara fabric. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rosemary of Tinarosi's Craft and Sews. This crop top can be matched with a black pencil skirt, a jean trousers, and even a black trousers. I'll start by drawing this straight line, which is my shoulder line. Next thing to do is to leave out 12 centimeters from the center front, which will help as the overlap. And I'll connect the points right down the length of the crop top, which is usually from shoulder to waist. To determine the length of your waist, which is the length of the crop top, just measure from shoulder to navel. Now we are going to create the rectangle of width being, being equal to the bust circumference, which happens to be the largest part of the upper part of the body by the length of the crop top. Now I'll go ahead and place the basic neck measurement, which is 8 cm by 2 cm for the back neck and then 8 cm by 9 cm for the front neckline. From this angle, go down by 4 cm and create the shoulder slant. Now the next thing to do is to place the armhole length and I'm placing it at 18 cm. I also went ahead and determined the length of the shoulder, which is 12 cm, and I placed it along this diagonal line. Next thing to do is to place the bust length from the shoulder measurement. After doing that, I'll draw a horizontal line like this to mark the bust length. From the bust length, I'll go up by 8 cm and I'll place the front chest to chest measurement. This will help me to determine my armhole curve. So the armhole curve passes from this shoulder point through the front chest to chest measurement point and then to the armhole length. Here is the nipple to nipple measurement divided by two. So I'm placing it from the center front and this will help me to draw the dark line. Now I have to take out 1.5 cm from both sides of the dart line at the waist, which is also the hemline in this case. Now it's to go down by 3 cm from the dart line at the burst line here, and I will connect to the 1.5 cm point on both sides of the dart line at the waist. It's now time to quit the overlap guys. And what I'll do is to connect the neck to this end of the 12 centimeters overlap. And as you can see guys, I'm doing it using a straight ruler. We are done drafting guys, so I'll just go ahead and cut out the pattern. I'll start by cutting the back pattern because I find it easier to start with the back pattern. So I will fold the pattern like this to cut the back pattern on fabric. After which I will now unfold and cut along the diagonal line to have the front pattern. The back pattern is being cut on fold and at the armhole and shoulder I left 1 cm as sewing allowance. Why at the side, I left 3 cm as sewing allowance, and then at the hem, I left 1.5 cm as sewing allowance. I will also cut out the dart or fitting on the pattern so I can easily transfer the dart to the fabric using a chunk. Now that I'm done with the back pattern guys, I'll open up the pattern like this and cut along this diagonal line to have the front pattern. I will be cutting two separate pieces for the front, so let me go ahead and do that. Here 
here is my sleeve pattern and if you look carefully you will see that i have left out about 15 centimeters before placing the sleeve that's because i will be gathering the fabric to create some beauty you will also notice that i added about 8 centimeters to the hem of the pattern and that's because i have to fold the hem to create a chip where i can insert an elastic band this is the back pattern with the neck already folded in with an interlining fabric. Now I will use this bias tape to fold in the raw edges at the right and left center fronts. When I'm done folding guys, I'll place the front patterns on the back patterns, right sides facing each other. And I'll stitch the shoulders and sides. As you can see guys, I've already done that off camera. Now I'm attaching a, a long cut or a band along the hem this is very important because it will be used to tie the crop top around the body i'm just folding the two raw edges of the band at about one one centimeters and then when i'm done i'll fold it into two and i'll top sew onto the hem of the crop top the band is quite long in such a way that after covering the hem of the crop top you still have about 60 centimeters left over which will be used to tie around the body when i'm done doing this guys i'll go behind the camera and i'll attach the sleeves after attaching the sleeves, we will be done with this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay blessed. Bye bye.